Okay, so uh, this is just an update video about my CNC machine that I starting to build back in January of 2018. Now, now it's August of 2018 and I think the last video I made about this uh, machine was... Uh, I think I made it back in March or something like that and that was the part 3. Now, you, I guess you could call this part 4. It's not going to be any building or anything in this video. I'm just going to be showing you uh, the progress. I didn't do anything uh, with the build uh, from April of 2018. Uh, you know, the April that was um, some months ago until now. Uh, however, uh, now I started to build on this machine again and uh, I started to build with uh, electronics because the machine itself is kind of like almost ready. I have some electronics to do on it, but uh, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, try to figure out how to set up the electronics uh, and all that kind of shit. You know, the electronic box that is going to be on the side of the machine. So this video is kind of like a part four, I believe, um, a little short video. An update video. However, I'm not gonna stand here and just uh, talk some crap. I'm uh, gonna change some camera angles and I'm gonna show you uh, how I am building this uh, electronic uh, going on here. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is my old, this is an old PC chassis right here. I actually bought this chassis back in 1998. And I still got it and now I thought I'd go ahead and use it for the electronics of my CNC router. So of course I have all the plastic and all the sides and all that kind of shit going on there. But you know I stripped it so it's more easy to put in some stuff in here. So what I did is uh, I modified this uh, PSU right here. So I took everything out of there and so I got the, the high voltage. Uh, right here from the because I wanted to use uh, connectors right here uh, and the power on and on switch so that's why I took everything out of there and I soldered everything on here the cables from this cable right here um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you some uh, a picture of what it's looking like inside of there So also, yeah, I know uh, there should be something going on here. So this is not going to cause any problems in the future. I haven't just put it in yet. So, but you are right. This is not a good idea to have this hanging around here. So I'm going to fix that. However, uh, this lead is going right there. It's going to uh, the PSU right here that uh, this is the 36 volts PSU 1 and 2. I got two of them. So it's going in here and it's going through there and in and into the, this uh, second PSU right here. Also we got a 5 volts PSU right here. So I got a... it's going also from there to this PSU right here so that I can get 5 volts to to the electronics that is needing 5 volts. That's the breakup board art right there and this is the drivers. So uh, this PSU right here will be uh, powering uh, two of these um, drivers right here. The second PSU right here will be uh, driving the other two since this is a four axis machine so that's a i think uh, this is actually was bought uh, as a kit so you know everything but not this one because i bought this one today but everything else is bought as a kit so the whole idea with this kit is to drive two drivers on each uh, power supply actually so yeah uh, I didn't do any electronics for the for for this uh, things over here. Just a uh, high voltage, the 240 volts uh, 
thing going on here and uh, if you're not if you don't know what you're doing I highly recommend that you uh, get someone else to to do this for you because if something goes wrong here if you're you know if you're lucky maybe you will be alive but if you get charged from this it could actually kill you you know 240 volts is uh, some serious volts right there uh, however here I got the uh, uh, this is the connectors for the A, Y, uh, C and X axis right here. So I thought I'd go ahead and use this, uh, uh, you know, this, uh, this is uh, a Dean connectors, Dean 5. This is five pins in each. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and place them on the back here. So I drilled some holes and I um, made some... You know so that I can screw them in the chassis here also I got a limited I got a home switches well limited switches limit switches sorry about that so and that's uh, uh, three of them so that one is going one there one there and one there that's what I believe it's the, the home and that is also going to be used as a um, uh, uh, Dean 5 I believe it's going to be um, so yeah, that's basically what's going on here. Um, also, maybe I will add a fan here uh, that uh, uh, taking the air in here out of here. So uh, there's going to be some uh, uh, inlets right here, so that it can take in some fresh air and go through here. And suck it out here so it will kind of like be I will leave everything open here to get as much air as possible in here because this is gonna be hot in here I believe so yeah that's pretty much what it is and uh, I bought some you know different wiring here that I'm gonna be using for the 48 volts and the 5 volts uh, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now uh the machine is kind of like a little bit of a mess here right now but the machine itself is uh, kind of like pretty much done i believe um there's a little bit more to do with the electronics i'm gonna finish up these uh, soldering things here uh this is uh, uh a limited the a limit switch so to speak so i got some more things to do but you know uh uh, overall, I think uh, it's pretty much hooked up everything. Uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually just to uh, connect the uh, the Dean Five uh, males to these uh, uh, these cables here uh, that I marked them. This is uh, this is the Y right there. So this that's four of them actually. So and in this corner right here. I'm gonna have a desk here so the computer well the computer and everything that I've been working on is going to be right here and uh, the electronics box will be under here so so yeah I think that's uh, I think that's kind of cool so that's uh, basically what's going on here so I've been hoping to test driving this uh, CNC machine in a couple of days perhaps uh, so you know just putting up the uh, just putting up the computer on the side here and just hook up the cables and you know just uh, testing the axles and see that everything is working so yeah i think uh, that's pretty much what it is guys and uh, there you can see some the sides of the uh, the chassis and uh, here i got the uh, the front panel uh, you know i got everything here so I think that's going to be awesome actually.